also connected to a number of blood vessels and nutrients that give the hair what it needs to grow. Hey YouTube, what's going on? Super excited for this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you are here. I am a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of the amazing platform called Curly Chemistry. I hope you guys understand your hair ingredients and products from a cosmetic chemist perspective. And I also have entrepreneurs by hair care lines as well. And today we are talking about understanding our hair growth cycle. And for a lot of us, this can be kind of frustrating on our hair growth journey. However, it doesn't have to be that frustrating. So my goal in this video is to give you the tools, the wisdom, the knowledge that you need to get to your hair growth goals. So get some snacks, get a pen and some paper. You're going to learn a lot of great things. You guys know I always anytime. Let's get started. Okay. So when it comes to our hair growth cycle, there is the antigen phase, the catagen phase, and the telogen phase. Now the antigen phase is our active growth cycle. This is the cycle that a lot of us kind of obsess over without even realizing that we are obsessing over it. And for good reason, because this is the phase that our hair is growing the most. Now, when it comes to the hair structure itself, there is a very small little part of our hair structure towards the base of the follicle called the dermal papilla. This is a network of epithelial cells that actually act as receptors where different hormones bind to the receptor to activate hair growth. This is why I always say that our hormones regulate our hair growth cycle. Now, with this dermal papilla is also connected to a number of blood vessels and nutrients that give the hair what it needs to grow. Now, usually the antigen phase can last between two to five years. For some people, it can go up to seven or eight years, but this cycle determines the length of our hair. But well, on top of that, our hair is the thickest in the antigen phase, and that's because that dermal papilla is receiving so much blood and nutrients during that time. After the antigen phase comes the catagen phase, also known as the transitional phase. During this time, our hair follicle begins to shrink and the hair detaches itself from the blood supply. Now this phase can last between two to four weeks, depending on each individual before it goes to the last phase, which is the telogen phase. Now the telogen phase is the active shedding phase. Now shedding is completely normal and it actually makes way for the new hair to come forth. Now on average, we can be in this collagen phase between two to four months. For some it's less, for some it's more, but at any given time, approximately 10% of our hair on our scalp is currently in the active shedding, AKA collagen phase. Here are some things that can hinder or promote hair growth. Now the hindering parts are gonna be called our disruptors and the promoting part is gonna be called our activators. Now for the disruptors, right? Here are some common disruptors that can hinder your hair growth. Number one is going to be over styling and manipulating your hair. I always say that our hair is like silk. It's strong, but it's also fragile at the same time. So with that being said, we have to be careful about how we do our hair. No type styles, be careful of any chemical services because all of this can have an effect on our follicle, on our scalp, which can then hinder hair growth. Second disruptor is going to be a bad diet, lack of nutrients, lack of vitamins, for example, lack of iron, lack of vitamin D. All of these things can hinder blood flow and nutrient flow to the dermal papilla. So make sure you're getting a good diet. The third disruptor I wanna share is our hormones. You know, our hormones regulate our hair growth. So if our hormones are out of whack from menopause, PCOS, pregnancy, a lot of times this can also hinder hair growth into hair loss and also thinning as well. Fourth disruptor is going to be poor hair health. And this includes like not washing your hair as often, not having a good hair care regimen, you know, having scalp inflammation, having product buildup, for example, all of these things play a role in hindering hair growth, AKA the hair growth disruptor. Now when it comes to the activator, it's so funny because the sun literally just came out as we're talking about the hair growth activators. But when it comes to the hair growth activators, these are the promoters of hair growth. So for example, when I say hair growth activators, I'm really referring to stimulants and DHT blockers. Now you guys know DHT is a hormone that is responsible for hair loss. There are some extracts and oils that are known for blocking DHT. For example, there is saw palmetto, pumpkin seed, stinging nettle. All of these ingredients are known for supporting hair growth and even potentially blocking DHT as well. Now when it comes to the stimulants, these are ingredients that are known for improving blood circulation and getting the blood flow going to the scalp to support hair growth. And some common ones are lavender, eucalyptus, 
peppermint, rosemary, just to name a few. And speaking of these ingredients, if you are into DIY hair care recipes, I have two really good hair growth oil recipes. One is in the Practical Solutions for Natural Hair, and the other is in the Natural Hair Care Wisdom flashcards. So definitely check those out. I'll post the link below for you in the description box for the ebooks to get that recipe. All right, guys, we've enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like this video. And for more curly chemistry content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content and of course you guys know I have a question for you you guys know hair growth is blood flow but also hair growth is scalp care too so i want to know what is your current favorite shampoo that you are loving right now what is one shampoo that you are loving comment below let us all know and i can have on the conversation with you if you want to learn more about your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective we're talking ingredients and products and techniques and natural hair care science all of the things I got these ebooks up here my best advice are in these ebooks so i'll post link below for you to get more information and if you would like one-on-one -on -one hair care coaching i would love to work with you one-on-one -on -one to create a customized hair care plan for you including product recommendations and i'll post that link below for you as well and if you're ready to start your hair care line no matter where you are in the world no matter where you are on the journey whether you know what you want to create you have no clue what you want to create or you already have an existing business i would love to consult you one-on-one -on -one, and i have the link below for you with more information all right guys i love you i'll talk to you guys soon bye